All right, let's get some more insight on this meeting between the Iranian, Pakistani, and Afghan leaders. And for that, we are joined tonight from Washington by Marvin Weinbaum. He is a scholar in residence at the Middle East Institute and a former State Department analyst specializing on Afghanistan and Pakistan. Thanks for being with us. If you were still on the job at the State Department, how alarmed or would you be alarmed at seeing the President's Karzai Zardari meeting with Ahmadinejad? I think the more seasoned observers recognize that these three countries have to get along with one another. They've got enough problems that they can ill afford to have tense borders with one another. And so uh, while there might be in the Congress some who would say, what are we doing giving money to countries that are cavorting with Iran, uh, certainly that won't be the prevailing view within the administration. That said, there are many Americans who view Iran as one enemy of the United States and then the Taliban as another. But in fact, Iran has no real use for the Taliban either, does it? No, not at all. In fact, there was a period back in uh, 1998 where they almost went to war with Afghanistan, with the Taliban in Afghanistan, because of atrocities which were committed against Iranians inside Afghanistan. No, they don't. Uh, on the other hand, there have been reports that Iranian weapons have found their way into the arms of the Taliban. We're not really sure just whether that was uh, by some rogue groups in Iran, but whatever, uh, so that they have, to some extent, not wanted to make the Americans feel too comfortable. But on the other hand, they have no desire to see uh, the Taliban back in power. Well, what role, if any, could Iran play then in helping the governments of Pakistan and Afghanistan fight the Taliban? Well, it can, for one thing, uh, merely by supporting the Karzai government, uh, they are, can be supportive. Iran actually plays a, a rather positive role in the western part of the country. It's very much involved in the commerce of the West. It uh, has the, uh, really uh, been responsible for some important development projects in the western part of the country. That certainly uh, helps to stabilize things in Afghanistan. Of course, Pakistan is another matter, and there we're talking about uh, ways in which they can contribute to halting the insurgency in Afghanistan, but they've got an insurgency of their own going on. We only have about 20 seconds left, but do Iran's economic interests factor in at all in all of this? Iran is very determined that uh, Afghanistan not return to the kind of destabilized state that it was in in the 1990s and therefore is very anxious to have this government survive and therefore is a potential ally to the United States. Marvin Weinbaum, thank you very much for talking with us tonight. Very welcome.